Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are swapping the pump on the Gardener backpack which has packed up unfortunately. So I have bought a pump from DA Components. Darren's been very helpful. It's a direct replacement. This is a chemical pump so it's got Viton seals in. So this will be good for me when I put my hypo and the bio side on the roofs. Um, the Gardener backpack has lasted over a year to be fair but it's suddenly given up the ghost. So uh, on this video, I'm going to show you how to swap a gardener backpack uh, pump with a day components chemical pump. And there's only about five, five to ten pound difference in a chemical pump than the actual gardener one. So I thought I might as well just pay that little bit extra and get a chemical pump and hopefully it lasts longer. So uh, let's get into stripping the backpack. Okay, there's six screws here, all around the edge, which I have just taken out. So we can now take the bottom off and we can see what we've got inside. Right. Inside that is pretty much what we've got. So we're going to take this pump out. As you can see these have gone a little bit uh, uh, funky, shall we say. Uh, and that is just going to be a direct replacement. So uh, we're going to get this pump out now and uh, we'll go from there. Well, I've come out the sun because I can actually see what I'm doing better now. So yeah, we're gonna put this chemical pump and we're gonna swap it over for this one. Um, I will put a link in the description for this pump of where you can get it from. Um, so, first things first, let's get the pump out. Okay, so the pump's out. We've just gotta disconnect it now from these. You just untwist those and those, red to red. Uh, red's obviously your live green is your neutral so on the replacement pump i've got a black and a red the red one is fused and i've disconnected the battery so we're all nice and safe um i've actually this as you can see these are let the camera focus in very corroded so i've took that off um i've just cut them straight off i didn't even try and attempt to get them under and look at them uh, i've just cut them off there's there's so much of this wire anyway what I've done is I've cut a section off that which will go onto there and then onto the new pump uh, and I've got new Jubilee clips so uh, so let's get this pump out and the new one in we'll get it all screwed back into place uh, and I'll come back to you uh, just thought I'd show you is the that's the live wires there um, that's your positive feed I'm gonna try and hold this camera as steady as I can for you sorry inside here if the camera picks that up there's a thread inside there so that when you push that on and you twist it in try and do this one-handed you see how it picks up and it actually screws all the way in and pulls all your wires in together and they're insulated as well so that's nice and safe so we're going to do that on this one as well for the other side uh, and get the pump screwed in and we'll i'll come back to you and there we have it new pumps in new wire like i says i cut this section of wire off the existing section of the big the big one because there's that much on there um i go to a slick connect anyway and then to my pole hose but you can see there's that much there so i um i cut the old piece off because these are just absolutely corroded so yeah cut them off we've put new jubilee clips on pumps in now i meant to say on the video when you're putting the new hose on you need a cup of boiling hot water just drop your hose in so they're nice and supple and they'll go on nice and easy then. The flow is the same on the DA components as the original, which is that one. Um, and that flows straight. It's a straight fitting. Um, it's not difficult to do. It's not fiddly. Um, I have had to re-solder a wire in the back there because I dropped the battery because I'm a clown and uh, I broke the wire. So I had to re-solder a wire back in there, but that was my fault. But yeah, the, the DA components pump goes straight in. Um, it's a straight replacement look. Um, the, the wire colours are different on the original. You've got a red and a green. Red is live. Green is neutral. You've got a red and a black. So it's, it's self-explanatory. And the nice thing I like about the DA components one, which I wasn't aware of when I ordered it, was that you've actually got an inline fuse just there as well. So um, if such a thing as anything does go wrong, the fuse will pop before you do any damage further down. So 
So yeah, we're gonna we'll get some water in that now. We'll get the, the bottom cover back on, which is very easy to do. So yeah, we'll put the cover back on. Um, the cover is actually vented. You can see through it. Look, so we'll certainly know if we've got any leaks, which we will check in a minute. That just pushes in there. I'm trying to do this one-handed, so bear with me. Um, and yeah, then it's just six screws into there. Um, we'll screw that in. Uh, we'll get some. Uh, we'll get some uh, fluid in it, and uh, we'll give it a test. Okay, that's all put back together. That's on the lowest flow. You can see that. So that is working perfectly. Speed it up, slow it down, or full pelt. Thanks for watching, I hope that's helpful. Um, any questions, pop them in the comments below. I will put a link in the description for the pump. Um, and dare I say, I think that pump is more powerful than the Gardner one because I remember when I had that, it didn't kick out like that. Um, it does seem a more powerful pump. I'm not saying it is, but from, I think it is slightly more powerful than the original Gardner one, personally. Um, any questions you have about the pump, specification-wise, um, I'll try and put some stuff in the, de in the description, uh, but... Get in touch with Darren at DA Components. Um, it's really helpful. Um, knows his stuff. Uh, really good quality stuff from there. So, um, yeah, that was £44 something, I think, when I bought it at the time. And the Gardner ones are 36 I think. It might be 34 plus VAT. I know there's not a lot in it. It's about a tenner's difference, if that. Um, for me, I'd rather pay the £10 and... I've got a chemical pump then. I know I can put my hypo and my bio through that now and I'm, I'll still rinse it after I've used it every time, which is just good practice, to be honest. It's just maintaining and looking after your tools, isn't it? So I will always still just flush water through it. Um, whenever I do a roof job, I always, when I've finished, I empty the backpack out and swish it out with the hose and wash it all out inside. Then I fill it up and I'll stick it on number one at about half power and I just let that run into the drain and I'll start packing my stuff into the van and then I'll give it 10, 15 minutes and I'll go back to it and I'll put some more water in um, and, and just carry on letting it flush through while I'm packing the van away. And it's just good practice to flush the pump, but these, this is a proper chemical pump with vites on seals. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope it's helpful. Um, I hope my camera works not too <laughs> and shaky, um, unsteady. Uh, more videos to come. It's just having the time to edit them and get them out because we're so busy at the moment. Um, Another driveway to do soon, which hopefully I can get some footage for. We've got a couple of roof cleans to do, which again, hopefully you get footage for. Um, yeah, it's just a case of just trying to get as much out there, content out there as I can for you guys. If it's helpful, great. Um, or if you just like watching it because it's enjoyable, it's even better. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll catch you on the next video.